Trends Now is all about bringing the inspiration to life into a nail look. Today, our color is pink. Pink is a super interesting color, obviously, because it's a blend of red, that super passionate color, and also white, which is that nice, peaceful, calming color. Today, Tracy and I get into a little bit of discussion of the direction of pink that we wanna go because there's many different shades of pink that are kind of brought forth to us. Some on the salmon side, some on the super light pink side, and there's some conflicting images too that sort of make me feel uncomfortable. Also, one point is that Tracy's not a huge fan of pink, yet we're gonna try to get this to work for her so that she can bring this inspiration to life. Check it out. There's a couple of these that make me a little uncomfortable. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but they're, they're, like I, you actually it stirs. Understand. It stirs a little bit of like emotion, but that salmon color just kind of shake shakes me a little bit. Like I don't know what it is about it that makes me feel a little like off. Maybe it's my mood today. That could very well be it. We're gonna go more with the mood. No. <laughs> We're going with these two images. Okay. Yeah, I like. And this is interesting because my brain is like not accepting it because the pink is like super soft and it's calming, yet there's a freaking peace. Yeah, but you, you know, know what I'm saying? I like it. Why do you like it? Because I've always stayed away from pinks my whole life because I was a tomboy. Like, right, I that just, I know about I just, you. I just did not like pinks. Um, and I'm just, as the older I'm getting, the more pissed off you are. Yeah, always. The more uh, comfortable I'm getting with pink, I'm finding myself buying pink, but I like the strong... Really? Yeah. That's actually very interesting. So I like the strong statement. I love the pink against the black. There's a, there, So pink used to be very girly, but I'm finding that pink nowadays yeah. actually is strong. Yeah. It, it's a strong. It, yeah. It's kind of back to that girl boss look, right? And that's what that image does for me. I, I completely agree. It's it's just that like there's a conflict, right? Because when I when I see that, it is that feeling of like um I used to hate pink. I used to really hate the color pink, mm -hmm. but it is such a beautiful color. It is such a it is that calming, a little bit of like a childlike quality. There's a, maybe a slight innocence. It's that combination of, you know, red and white. So like, yeah. you know, that 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 perfect blend. But So you got white, which is peaceful. White is peaceful, red, which is like very passion. Passionate, yep. Very even towards the anger side. Absolutely. Depends which way you're going. Perfect for me. And now you have a perfect blend of it. This is nice though. I like this middle one is is very You like it cuz it's coffee. Of course I like it because it's coffee. I'm not denying that. That's that's definitely the reason. I think I think you you you've got enough inspo i think we've talked it out to the point where i'm hoping you have some inspo to go off of and you have an idea of what you want to do with the nails is that I do. would that be true yes that would be true okay are you ready no let's get started with our products we're going to be using pool boy art screen kit from ulta we're going to be using our look don't touch caption polish and yeah what she said Yes, we're grabbing only three items, but we're gonna be able to create a very sophisticated, elegant look with just these. So let's start with our base coat. Again, if you have artificial nails on, this is not a necessary step, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on first. This is really important if you have natural nails. Okay, let's get a nice coat, even coat on. I know I've talked about this before, but what is great about our base coat is not only that it's going to help the polish adhere extremely well, it's gonna act as a protective layer so you don't get any staining on your nails if you're working with reds or something like that. But also, a lot of people have ridges in their natural nail. This is a nice thicker base coat, so it's gonna help fill any of those ridges you have in your natural nail, which is gonna give you a much smoother application for your polish. Okay, let's get our color on. Okay, we're gonna get one coat of Yeah What She Said on all five nails. Okay. I know I've talked about white out before, but this reminds me of a 
pink white out. The coverage is so good for a light pink. And with that rounded brush, it just really helps you get right next to the cuticle. Makes application so much easier. If you get a good amount on your brush, it's really gonna help you apply it. If you remove all the polish, it seems a little safer that things aren't gonna run everywhere, but it actually makes application harder. Get it on our thumb. If you're working it through and you decide that you don't have enough, don't keep going. Just grab some more polish. Start in the center and move it to the side that it's missing. So some of these nails are going to get stamped and the ones that I'm going to stamp, I'm not gonna go ahead and put a second coat. I'm just gonna stamp. So I think I'm gonna stamp the pinky and the pointer finger. So on the rest of the hand, we're gonna go ahead and get our second coat on. Okay, now that we've gotten the second coat on the nails that needed it, we're gonna go ahead and move into doing our stamping on the two other fingers, and then we'll move into our lunar eclipse last. So let's go ahead and pull our art screen, our pool boy art screen out, our scraper, and our clear shot stamper. And lastly, our look don't touch is what we'll be stamping with. Okay, let's get our look don't touch right here on the plate. Grab our scraper, make sure our stamper is close by. We're gonna scrape, pick up, and ready to go on the nail. Remember to clean your stamper, you wanna use something sticky. I'm using a lint roller, but you can use a piece of tape, whatever you got laying around. And that's gonna remove all the excess polish from your stamper. Using that same look don't touch that we used for our stamping, we're gonna do a lunar eclipse design on this one. I find it helpful to actually point the finger towards me. We're gonna get a good amount of black on our brush. Okay, and once we have it, we're gonna come out right about here from the cuticle area, and we're just gonna brush down. That round brush is gonna be really helpful in creating this design. Next, we're going to apply our top coat to all 10 nails. Okay, let's get a nice amount on the nail. Again, what's great about the top coat is it's nice and shiny, but it also dries extremely quick. ever want to, if you have your natural nails and you want to help strengthen them, put a nice base coat down your color and then top coat them every other day for like a week straight. You keep that up and it will help strengthen your natural nails. Gives it a protective layer. Let's go ahead and clean up the polish we got on our skin when we stamped and we are done. Another super simple yet beautiful set of nails. That's the whole point is to take inspiration and create a look that you could do fast and easy. And again, all the products are available at Ulta. Tracy, how do you feel about your nails? Will you wear them for a couple weeks? No, because we have to do another film. 
Right now? Right now. Okay, take them off. I already am. <laughs>